Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub, and today we are going to talk about two of the most used liquid chromatography for analysis. The first one is normal phase liquid chromatography, and the second one is the reverse phase liquid chromatography. So, if you look at the invention of the chromatography, it started with a normal phase and then followed by the reverse phase. Let us talk about the very first feature as far as normal phase liquid chromatography is concerned. And in the normal phase, the stationary phase is more polar than the mobile phase. If you look at the polarity of the stationary phase and the mobile phase, you will find that the stationary phase is more polar as compared to the mobile phase. Or you can say that the mobile phase is mostly a non-polar in case of the normal phase liquid chromatography. Now when it comes to a reverse phase liquid chromatography, the stationary phase is less polar than the mobile phase. Or you can say that the mobile phase is a polar as compared to the stationary phase. So what are the examples of stationary phases? Aminopropyl, cyanopropyl, diol, silica. Now these are the example of normal phase liquid chromatography columns and C8, C18, phenyl, these are the example of uh, HPLC column which generally used in the reverse phase mode. A low polarity mobile phase such as hexane, dichloromethane, ethyl acetate can be used. Or you can say these are the non-polar non uh, mobile phases. However, in case of uh, reverse phase liquid chromatography, highly polar mobile phases such as methanol, ACN, water can be used. Now these are the general combination used for mobile phase preparation, ethyl acetate and N-hexane, dichloromethane and N-hexane, IPA plus N-hexane. So these are very commonly used mobile phase compositions. Where in case of reverse phase liquid chromatography, Mostly you will find the aqueous based mobile phases such as water plus methanol, water plus acetonitrile or in case if you want to separate out uh, ionized compounds then aqueous buffer and the less polar organic solvent like ACN, methanol or some to extent THF are very commonly used. Generally this uh, normal phase liquid chromatography is separation of the polar compounds because these are the polar stationary phase and they retain the polar compounds for longer time. And proteins, alkaloids can be the example of uh, polar compounds, amino acid. However, in case of uh, reverse phase liquid chromatography, which is generally suitable for separating the less polar or non-polar compound. Why? Because the stationary phase is non-polar or less polar. So just think about the like attracts like rule and you can understand how this reverse phase liquid chromatography can be able to retain the non-polar compounds and similarly why the normal phase chromatography is able to retain the polar compounds. Elution is directly proportional to polarity of analyte means the retentivity of analyte or retention time of analyte is proportional to the polarity of uh, itself. The more is the polar compound, the more is going to be its retention in the normal phase liquid chromatography. And if the less is the polar compound, the less is going to the retention in case of the normal phase liquid chromatography. Now what is the elution order in case of reverse phase? Now it is inversely proportional to polarity of analyte. Means if your analyte is polar, then it is going to have the low retention time in reverse phase liquid chromatography. Or in case if your analyte is non-polar, then it is going to have the high retention time in case of the reverse phase liquid chromatography. That is the basic difference between normal phase and reverse phase. So polar solvent make mobile phase stronger as far as normal phase liquid chromatography is concerned. And when there is a stronger mobile phase, you can expect the less retention time or lesser elution. So in case of normal phase liquid chromatography, water becomes the strongest solvent, followed by methanol, then acetonitrile, tetrahydrofuran, dichloromethane, chloroform and hexane. So hexane may be the 
poorest poor solvent in the normal phase liquid chromatography when it comes to a reverse phase liquid chromatography uh, the non polar solvents make mobile phase strong for example acl thf you know so the if the mobile phase is stronger then the lesser is going to be the retention time or elution so what is the solvent strength so water is the weakest solvent in case of reverse phase liquid chromatography followed by methanol then ester nitrile thf dichloromethane chloroform hexane but again there is a limitations of using the solvent beyond maybe the thf the dcm is not miscible with the water same is the case with the chloroform and the hexane also so in case if the organic solvent is not miscible with the water then that solvent may not be used in the reverse phase liquid chromatography let us take one example to understand the elution or retention of a, sol a solute in case of normal phase now this is the mobile phase one containing dichloromethane and n hexane in the ratio of 20 as to 80 and let us say you have the second mobile phase with the dichloromethane and n hexane with the 60 as to 40 volume by volume so which mobile phase is stronger now look at here the polar solvent makes mobile phase stronger so which one is polar so dcm is polar so the amount of or volume of dichloromethane is going to determine the strength of the mobile phase now in which mobile phase the amount or volume of dichloromethane is more and that is the 6040 a mobile phase number two and hence the mobile phase two is stronger than the mobile phase one so in which mobile phase you will have the less retention time so in the mobile phase 2 the compound will get less retention time as compared to mobile phase 1 let us also understand the elution in case of reverse phase and here are two mobile phases mobile phase 1 is with acn water 2080 and second mobile phase mobile phase 2 is acn water 6040 so which is the stronger solvent the solvent which is non-polar so is water non-polar than acn or acn non-polar than water is obviously acn is non-polar so the acn is going to determine the strength of the mobile phase mm -hmm. so in which mobile phase the amount or volume of acn is more and that is mobile phase 2 so which mobile phase is stronger now so mobile phase 2 is going to be stronger than mobile phase 1 so in which mobile phase you will have the less retention or elution it's the mobile phase 2 which containing more amount of astonitride so by understanding how the retention takes place you can decide on to the usage of uh, suitable chromatography whether normal phase or reverse phase but uh, most of the times the reverse phase is preferred because of its highly robust behavior less cost however the normal phase is not much preferred because it is not robust and the cost of the operation is also quite high thank you so much